Boom, these are the three topics that you must master to ace the PMP exam. Let's do this. All right, number one, you've got to be the master of change. Both in Agile and Waterfall, you've got to understand how do you identify the problem and how do you react in the most positive way? Because think about it, all the questions, they're situational. They're gonna say, hey, you're in a project, either new or you're taking over or something like that, and there is a problem. There's an incident, there's, a, there's an occurrence that you have to understand and react to. So what's that really distilled down to? How do we react to change? At the different phases of a project, in the different environments, given the scenarios. So you've got to be a change master, okay? That's number one. Number two, you've got to understand the seven key flows of waterfall. Now, studying and going through this with students year after year, there are, I've distilled down that there are seven key flows that go through waterfall from initiating to setting up your stakeholders to understanding the engagement, change, and how we handle everything on the back end and closing out. All these seven key flows are what really matters because all the questions from the waterfall side fall into one of these flows. So you identify where you are, what the scenario is, and you're guided to what the next uh, action would be. So nailing down the flows, get you really good, all right? And lastly, the roles and responsibilities in Agile. Now, I'm not just saying like, hey, I know the names and I can know the definitions and I can spout them out. No, I want you to really see the people, to understand what their job is, what kind of hat they wear, what responsibilities follow under them, what they would do in certain scenarios. I want you to see the scenario when something happens. Ooh, this person does this. This person does this. This is what they're allowed to do. This is what they should do. Here's how they work together. If you can understand that roles and responsibilities and how they react, you have a really deep understanding of Agile. You can interpret all the Agile questions, all the hybrid questions, and you can make the right decisions. So if I were you, I would focus on these three areas. This is what really matters, okay? So go off, study these, do better, you're gonna be great. Now, if you need help and you're like, dude, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to manage change. I don't know what the seven key flows are. I don't really know if I know the roles and responsibilities to the depth that you talk about, Scott. I kinda know, but I'm not an agile dude. I don't know. Reach out, I can help you out. This is all we do. We guide people down this path and we build their competency. So reach out to me, go to pmmasterprep.com, go to either hit the inquiry button, like talk to Scott, write your little baby story. Hey man, I got a test, blah, 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 in days. I'm having these problems. I'm not sure I'm great at these. I love your opinion. I got opinions all day long. But the first thing I got to do is listen. So I got to have you tell me your baby story, where you are, what your learning style is, where you're having issues, et cetera, et cetera. Doesn't have to be long, but I've got to understand that to help you out, myself and my team. All right, so go there, hit inquiry, or go apply for the accelerator. Dude, do that. We help you out on your schedule. Doesn't matter what you've done in the past or whatever, we'll guide you through it. Simple as that. Or reach out to me, scott at pmmasterprep.com. Simple, simple, simple. But regardless of what you do, do not abandon these three core topics. You master these, you're on your path. Let's go get your PMP. It's time for you to pass.